Hi friends, how are you today? Ritz Riley saying hello from Playa Cocles in Puerto Viejo de Limón in Costa Rica. Today we decided to bring you guys to the beach so you could see the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful beach that we have here, one of the beauties. Usually what we do is over here you're gonna see some people swimming, but usually this beach, we actually go beyond that point where you see the sand and that's where there are a few little puddles, if you like, where there's coral that protects the little um, pools of water. So this is a place that we love to bring our kids. It's a safe environment because the coral makes a natural shell and the kids just get to play right inside there. So that's the wonderful thing about Cocles Beach. So today we have a wonderful, wonderful set of people that we're going to meet, Oriana and Jimmy. They have a business called Caribe Horse. And as we all know, because of the pandemic and everything, a lot of people had to close their businesses or really minimize the amount of people that were able to take any tour or anything like that. In Costa Rica, they decided not to have tours operating until just a few weeks ago. So it's affected a lot of the businesses, um, especially when it comes to animals and the interaction that people have to have. Now we have all the instructions about distancing, about PPE, about protecting folks, and they've been able to implement these great things. So we're gonna come over here and chat with them. They're getting their horses together. So Jimmy and Oriana, you're gonna get to see four of their beautiful horses that they use for the tours. So here are all, okay. They're like their kids folks. So basically we have four beautiful horses that are part of their sta stable. The horses actually are all rescues. So these horses were brought in by a veterinarian he was the one that was able to tell them if the horses were gonna recoup and be okay. So these are all rescue horses and we're gonna talk a little bit about the business, about how you can help to make sure that this business stays afloat and is successful once again. So Jimmy and Oriana, <laughs> we're coming over to you guys. So this Hi. is Jimmy. Hi, how are you guys? <laughs> and this is Oriana. So you guys, tell us a little bit about when you started this business. How long ago was it? Let's get a, a feel of them. Oh, they're cute, huh? Okay, sure, sure, sure. So Jimmy, okay, yeah. first thing in all, we start with the horses like five years ago. Five years. Yeah, yeah. We start like my wife. She loves the horses. Of so, course, yes. So we start like we would want to get one horse. Yes, one then, horse. Yeah, <laughs> then we get many. We get like four or five. We get a option for something, and from there we start. So from that point, we, we start to, you know, make different work, try to be more professional, and till now we reach here. So. Oh, well, that's so yeah. nice. So, Oriana, I know that you have a background with horses. Yeah. And was that started in Italy, or when did that whole thing start? Yeah, I started when I was a child, really little, because my father has the same passion, so uh, he, he was my first teacher, I would say. <laughs> And after that, I did many different clinics, uh, many different uh, lessons uh, with different professionals. I start with the classic English school and the uh, Italian school that we have in Europe. Uh, that is like uh, for about the Capri Limited. That is like uh, one of the first uh, natural way uh, humans found uh, to treat the horses. Yeah. And um, they are my passion for all of my... I see yeah. That. I yeah. See that. I know yeah. you guys love horses. So yeah, so tell much. us a little bit about the process of, of getting a horse that's a rescue, not a horse that is, let's say a horse that's trained for this, but yeah. actually horses that are rescued and training them to, okay. to, to do this kind of work. Horses are uh, amazing because uh, even when they really had a really, really bad experience, they used to trust uh, easy to the humans again. Yeah. We have to learn a lot from them. Of course, that's true. <laughs> and uh, the way is First of all, build the trust. Yes. Build the trust that they lost. We have to consider that uh, we are predators for them. Yes. So them attitude with us is always like, what you want for me? Do you want to eat me? <laughs> what do you want? Do you want to do something bad to me? And uh, unfortunately, many times it happened that many, many people like uh, for the treat they have with the horses, uh, uh, Finally, the horses like confirm the bad idea that they could have about us. Right, exactly. Yeah, so because it's like we confirm that it's true. You have to be uh, scared of me. You have to be <laughs> afraid of me because I am a really bad, 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 aggressive predator. Right. But, and but really, usually with the horses, 
You were telling me a little bit about the psychology behind when somebody walks into the stables, how yeah. you decide which we horse try, you pick. We try always to explain that to the people. We try always to do an introduction to understand uh, because the people, uh, first of all, we humans need to understand that even if they are big, they feel like little bird and we are the dangerous one for them. Right, right. So uh, right now, like you see, they play all the time like kids and like kids, if you leave them, they start to play and after one is angry with the other and this is always the same cycle. <laughs> They are accustomed to play all day together. Uh -huh. They are social animals, so a big, big mistake is, for example, isolate them. Yeah. They need to stay in group. They need the other horses. They need to stay together to have relation more than us even. Right. Uh, so for them, it's really important. For them, don't have uh, like them group, don't have them family. Cold means in the nature die. So right. it's really, really important staying safe. Uh, they have a really 